Hey everybody, it's Matt from Junior Horror Movies, and I'm going to do my Killer Bug Collection. Yes, all these movies are Killer Bug films. <laughs> I don't own all of them. There's still many I'm missing. There's a couple main ones that I'm missing that I need to grab. These are mostly just Killer Insects. Um, some will be giant insects, some will be normal size insects. Uh, some will be like a little mutated, but we're not going to have like alien ones or anything like that. I have these in... Uh, wall order. I mean, by wall. I didn't put them in a weird alphabetical order or not because it will take me forever to put them back. So I did it by wall. So what I'm going to do is do it in piecemeal. So we'll do it in by a certain wall. So we'll do the small wall first. And we'll do the Killer Bug movies. Uh, we have The Bay. It's a found footage uh, Killer Bug flick. They're like parasites in this lake. Awesome found footage, guys. If you've never seen The Bay, Highly recommend it. Uh, beginning of the end. This is a giant locust uh, film for the 1950s. They get into a uh, bat of farm feed that wasn't right. And of course they get mutated and turn into giant carnivorous uh, locusts. Fun flick from the 1950s. Highly recommend it. A lot of fun. <clears throat> big ass spider. <laughs> yes, pretty much is about a big ass spider. I like how it is titled uh, pretty much it's about a spider that grows into a big ass one and it's actually fun it's got some funny moments to it it's kind of a horror comedy but still uh, cheesy uh, the next one is called uh, creepy crawlers this one is I think it was a made-for-tv movie pretty much this doctor moves to an island at the same time this one boat going by had a stowaway of a killer cockroach and of course, the crew threw his body over and the cockroach stole away and landed on this island. So now this island's infested by killer cockroaches. A uh, fun flick for a made for TV movie. So if you've never seen it, uh, it's another one I highly recommend. Uh, the Giant Spider. Uh, this is from the Nim Universe. That's uh, a throwback to the 1950s uh, giant bug movies. Oh, it was a lot of fun. Black and white. Very well done. I like how they did it as a throwback. It's pretty cool. Uh, glass trap. This one is a killer ant film. Uh, they stow away on these plants, and they have a. Uh, I think like they were sprayed by this growth hormone, and they and they start growing inside a uh, office high rise, and they start attacking people in the high rise. Not bad. Uh, it's got C. Thomas Howell in it. Uh, cool killer giant ant movie. Uh, killer swarm. This one is a Killer Wasp film. Another one where they're altered and they're released on this small island. It's watchable. I've watched it several times. It's just something just to sit back and veg to. Nothing really super superb. Uh, Kingdom of the Spiders. Fantastic film. I love the ending to it. Very scary. My wife will not watch this movie at all because she hates spiders. <laughs> Uh, I guess it's coming out on Blu-ray sometime soon from Code Red, so I'm debating. I may not upgrade because, I don't know, Screen Factory put it out, Shell Factory put it out, so it's got a lot of special features. I heard some of the features are not going to get ported over, or there might. I'll find out when they are, so then that'll make my decision. Uh, Larva, this one is a sci-fi channel film about uh, this cow feed where the cows ingest it, turn the... Uh, cow's larva inside into giant kite like creatures so it's a I like this one this one's a lot of fun I can sit back watch that one constantly uh, phase four this one is a killer ant film uh, I need to upgrade this at some point I keep forgetting to upgrade this to the blu-ray so sooner or later I will uh, it's a weird killer ant movie but very trippy psychological uh, Skeeter this is a killer mosquito movie. They are eating and sucking up toxic waste and they grow pretty big, size like a small dog. And of course they attack a bunch of people, bleed them dry. <laughs> Skeeter, it's a fun little mosquito movie. Uh, we have Slugs. Yes, um, I still haven't upgraded this to the Blu-ray yet from Arrow. I will. Someday, I'll probably keep this too because this is the old Anchor Bay of Slugs. Different cover art, more special features. Very gory movie. Uh, highly recommend checking out Slugs. 
great eye explosion scene. <laughs> oh, grab the right one. We have uh, spiders. This one is, I think, from 2009. The Russians were working on spiders in outer space. The uh, ship satellite crashes, and of course, these spiders grow pretty huge. They were used for military, where their silk would be used for bulletproof vests. Their armor would be impervious. So now you have giant spiders loose, I think, in New York City. Yep. <clears throat> Uh, Spiders, this is a uh, sci-fi channel movie where again this one stows away on a spaceship comes to Earth inside a uh, astronaut and gets really really big. And then you have the sequel Spiders 2. This one is another sci-fi channel movie. It takes place on a boat with a mad scientist working with spider DNA and growing very large spiders. Eh, it's okay. And for this first shelf, we have the Vortex. This one is <laughs> really weird. It's got giant spiders and scorpions and giant snakes. Uh, bad CGI, but I can live with CGI. It's just something to sit back and goofy to. It has to do with portals and open uh, vortexes, hence the title. I think this was actually renamed um, uh, Big Better Bugs or something weird. Badass bugs or something, but here in the U.S. they call it the Vortex. And for what it is, it's just something to sit back and veg to. Alright, let me pause it here and get on with the second shelf. Thank you.